listen to that silence. Sunday afternoon. And I think Sundays are the lazy day for most people. For those that have the Monday to Friday, which I don't. Saturdays and Sundays are like any other day for me. But I can tell that spring is on the way. I feel like I need to start changing up my routine soon. Because me and winter, we don't get on at all. And it's cold, obviously. <laughs> and the limited daylight hours just kills my creativity and my energy. But the nights are drawing out, it's getting lighter in the mornings. And I'm starting to feel that it's going to be time soon to... just do a bit more because although I'm kind of doing what I need to every day it's getting very samey it's getting boring and I'm talking just you know the same stuff that everyone else does like working every day and my work's in a different way but I'm still working so there's routine and I'm not very good with routine I have a really short attention span so I'm not ha really having any challenges at the moment. We've made some good improvements already this year. And we're only like, what, six or seven weeks into the new year now. But I need to start making things a bit more interesting. And I think because I'm thinking about things like my car camping trip, which I'm probably going to do um, in April now. And I've got a two week trip coming up towards the end of March at my parents. So I've got little trips going on and I'm thinking about doing a little day trip out before the end of February. I want to show you the sites or a particular site and just be nice to have a trip out somewhere different. Because at the moment everything's really just staying home, staying in the same town, shopping, saving money, shopping discounts. Uh, the only thing that varies, the only thing that's like really depends on what's going on is these videos. And I don't know if anyone's getting sick of them yet. <laughs> Having said that, I follow lots of day in the life style channels and we're all doing pretty much the same thing we're just working we're cooking we're recording videos we're editing videos we're driving around in our cars um, and I think people like that because it's it's comforting to know that the routines are there and they're the same as everyone else's we're all living similar lives there's nothing extraordinary going on there's no fakery it's just I mean look at me Look at me, how you can't be fake. I've got three jumpers on underneath <laughs> this. I'm walking around like a Teletubby today. But I want to change things up in that respect as well because um, the old SAD, the Seasonal Affective Disorder, I don't get it badly at all. But I know that my habits change in winter. I sleep longer. Um, I snack more for sure. And I've got to stop that now. I need to get on some kind of little exercise routine. But when you're waking up in the morning and it's still dark and it's tipping it down with rain or it's snowing and you just think, I'm not going out. I'm not going out. In the, the when, Once the really nice spring weather comes along and the first thing I do when I get up in the morning is open all the windows. I just love it. And I'm excited to like get my, get my, my walking gear on and just go out and enjoy the day and I'm thinking about maybe trying running again which um, I've had an on-off relationship with 
for 20 years doing proper exercise. I've been a member of several gyms over time as I've moved around. I haven't had a gym membership in, I don't know, 2017, 2016, something like that. It's just too expensive. I'd love a gym membership now. Now would be a lovely time to have one. You could go down there and exercise in the warmth, showers, free sh well, I say free showers, you're paying membership, but it would be lovely to have somewhere to go like every other day for a couple of hours and get some exercise, you know, um, get a hair wash and things like that. And that would be really, really nice, but um, we don't have one. So once the weather does improve, once I get nice mornings, I want to get out and start, you know, doing a half hour walk and may do, maybe do some, like some, they call it HIT, so H-I-T, where you just do quick bursts of exercise. And because I haven't run in a few years and I had to stop because I got shin splints, because I was overdoing it, because I'm like really an all or nothing, it's like do everything and injure yourself or do nothing at all because it's not waste, not worth your time. So I want to do things more gradually. So once the weather gets nicer and the first thing I do in the morning is get my gear on and go for a walk around the block and do short chunks of run just to get my heart rate up and just start to build up more of a, a routine in that respect. Not too much routine because it's the routine that kills it. And that's another reason why I gave up the running is because I was scheduling myself to do like two or three runs a week and making myself run for an hour or something. And it's boring. I hate to say it, but exercise is boring. And I always used to run with headphones and music on and stuff like that or podcasts or something. But um, just to give it a, a, an extra thing to focus on. But it doesn't really work. I need things to be different. I'd much rather be going out and doing walks and hikes and things like that. But again, because there's nothing locally to me, you've got to get in the car, you've got to drive to the place, you've got to find somewhere to park, then you've got to do the hike, then you've got to get home again. And it takes all the spontaneity out of it, which is what I like. So, which is why if I can just, you know, crash out half hour walks around the block and just enjoy the fact that the weather's better. It's like I'm sitting here now and this morning it was really, really misty. You couldn't see anything outside. It was really atmospheric. And then in the afternoon it came over really, really dark and it rained for about 20 minutes. And now it's about four o'clock and suddenly the sun's come out and the blue sky's here. And now it feels like a spring evening with the sunset. So it's really weird how the weather can change so much. And I'm really looking forward to those those warm days where I can go out in the morning and do a bit of gardening, plant something, see things grow, go out and do a walk, um, just have fresh air coming into the flat because I can have all the windows open. And I can feel that we're getting close to that now. It's just, it's, it's almost here and it's really exciting actually for me because I can feel my energy levels changing. I can feel that I'm starting to feel restless, you know, I'll spontaneously go and start cleaning something. Um, at random times of the evening because whereas when it was really cold put the TV on in the evening get under the blanket and just be happy that I was warm now I'm starting to want to do other things I'm getting bored with just that part of the routine in the evening we're just keeping warm I want to get up and do stuff so in your when, when your body's like in rhythm with um, the seasons like that you can really feel the changes and I think when you when you allow yourself to be exposed to the seasons like that I think it probably has more of an effect on you so I don't have a really hot flat uh, I'm very much um, kind of going with the temperatures so I haven't had to have the heating on since I don't think it's since I got back from Christmas I can't remember if I've had it on this year I think I might have had it on at the beginning of January when I first came home because 
down at my parents it was really warm in their house and it's reacclimatizing again and then I switched off because I could see how high the meter readings were going to be if I carried on and so I think I switched it off I think the heating went off something like the 6th of January something like that I think it was and I don't think I've had it on since I haven't needed to actually when I know it's going to be really cold in the evenings, I'll roll down the bubble wrap on the front room window. And with the door shut on this room, with lights on and I'm doing stuff and, and um, laptops on and I've got my hot water bottle and my blankets and stuff, it does raise the temperature of the room just enough. And I find that quite sufficient. I haven't actually been cold. So when it starts to get warmer you start to feel those differences at home and that's when I start to want to do things in the evening and just sitting around keeping warm is no longer sufficient because I can feel that I want to get up and start moving around more and do more and coming out of that semi hibernation and that's a really good sign so I'm looking forward to spring it's almost here just come on spring But it's really, really quiet here again this afternoon. It's been weirdly quiet here all weekend. It's been very strange. Saturday night, normally people are rolling out of the pubs at 11, 12 o'clock. And we have quite a rowdy pub down the road. So we get them all fighting on the way home and they're kicking over the wheelie bins and smashing bottles and just being horrible people and there was none of that last night it was quiet hardly heard any cars no people I don't even know if my neighbours were in it was silent as the grave down there last night and it was so weird and today like this afternoon it's so quiet and I like that I like the silence I'm happy with the silence, I can do that. It's relaxing. Because usually I have sounds on, whether it's I'm watching YouTube or I've got the TV on, just to drown out the annoying noise that comes from outside, like um, the neighbours being really noisy or there's people shouting in the street and all that sort of thing. And I try and drown that out with at least something that I have some control over. Anyway, yeah, so planning and making things more interesting. I, as I say, I am going to do a trip, hopefully before the end of the month. It might be early March. I've got to keep an eye on the weather. I don't want to go on a day when it's raining. And we'll take you on a trip. There's also something coming out at the cinema, I think the fourth week of February, um, that I really want to go and see. And I've got my six free tickets from Club Lloyd's, uh, my bank account, which give me six free cinema tickets of the anniversary of my current account. And I haven't used any of them yet. And the film I want to go and see is called um, Wicked Little Letters, and it's Olivia Colman movie. And I don't think I've ever seen her in the cinema. And I only used, I think, three, three of my cinema tickets last year, because it's just finding stuff to watch. And then Oh, you've got to make the effort to go into town and, and get there and all that sort of thing. And getting out of routines of being lazy and just staying at home and doing stuff, that's the other thing I need to do. So at the end of the month, when it's been out in the cinema for a few days or so, I'm going to take a day trip into town and we'll go to the cinema. Because I haven't been into town in ages when did I last go into town? Maybe October? I can't remember. When was Oppenheimer? That's the last time I went into town because I went to see Oppenheimer. I'm pretty sure that was, that must have been October, early October, because I think my tickets change around mid-October. 
so that's probably the last time I've been to town. I don't really have any reason to go. When you go into town, it's like it involves spending money. Like, everything is shopping, everything is shops. But I can go to the cinema for free, and then I might go to the shop where I buy my fabrics from and just see if there's anything there. Because I'm getting the urge to make stuff as well, because I'm starting to feel more creative again. So I hope wherever you are that spring is coming and that it's starting to give you a bit of energy. I look really tired today. I'm not. I don't know what's the matter with me. I think it's just because I haven't done very much today. Um, tea. I'll be drinking less of this in the, in, when it gets warmer as well. More water. I've had my two litres of water today, so I'm okay. Right, so that's me and my sushi. Look at sushi. Sushi, sushi. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about today. It's one of those weird days where you just want to natter and just talk utter rubbish. Which <laughs> I would say is a fair amount of my channel, to be honest with you. But clearly resonates with a lot of people and it's just my life it's just what it is and I see other channels where their their lives are very routine like mine and they turn them into interesting videos so but I feel pretty chilled today just looking at the blue sky and Today feels okay. <laughs>